We'll be starting with the first category which is zombies, weapons and armors. For the first add-on, we'll be using Project Walker to add dozens of structures to the world and a new fog. Most importantly, new zombie variants that you can find throughout the world. For example, you have walkers and even crawlers. Not only does this add-on add zombies, but it also adds armor variants that you can choose from. My favorite armor piece is the night goggles as they light up dark areas, but this only works for mobile. It also has a few sets of vests that you can wear, but we'll add more later in the video. An interesting feature is that some zombies might even have some armor pieces which shows that they were once human. Speaking of which, you may even find bandits and survivors throughout the world now and you can also scavenge for food and resources or even craft them in the crafting table. Project Walker also adds guns into the game. This cannot be compatible with other gun add-ons but luckily the gun models are very decent to use and don't need another gun add-on. The guns have smoke particles from firing the weapon and it really is a nice add-on with that because it adds an immersive feature where there's a hit marker when you shoot a mob, being a very common feature from FPS game. And if you don't like guns for some reason, there's many weapons you can use in this add-on which are complemented by some cool animations that you can see yourself doing while walking and running. There's also wildlife in this add-on like deer and crows that you can find. An important feature in this add-on is the thirst system which you can get from drinking water bottles which can be filled in the water pump. Project Walker also adds two vehicles. While that may not be a lot, it makes up for that in design as there's literally some nice animations and sounds. Well, and it also has a real light dynamic system which is really cool. While Project Walker doesn't add a lot of armor sets, Willis US Armor fixes that by adding US themed armor sets. While that's cool, let's make things even cooler by adding new textures for dark with the better dogs add-on, giving dogs a unique look. Well, let's move on to the second category of this video, which is features. The better blood texture adds better blood textures, and while Project Walker does this too, well, better blood textures is just better in my opinion as it almost looks a step closer to real life. If you pay close attention to this clip, you might also see the blood drop. The Last of Us and Dying Light music pack is a pack made by NPM as you might know and it adds music from this popular two games. For the next add-on, we have multiplayer waypoint system which allows you to create waypoints in certain areas that you might have visited or discovered. By adding a waypoint name and then submitting it with an icon will allow you to create a waypoint. So if you were caught in a danger in your travels around the world, you might be able to save your skin and teleport back to the waypoint and this will work as a fast travel system as in most modern zombie games which is honestly quite cool because it adds fast travel to MCPE. While exploring the now zombie infested lands, stone tombs might be a useful add-on as when you die a new tomb will uh, be in your place which will store all the items which you can unlock with the grave key saving you the hassle of despawning items. This next feature regards the camera placement for Minecraft. As there's only three conventional camera perspectives, the more camera perspectives add-on allows you to have new camera perspective opportunities like dynamic third person back. This makes it feel much more immersive in my opinion as it takes away the feeling of you playing Minecraft as it has similarities with modern zombie shooter games. But not all camera perspectives will be great as they will ruin the crossing. The gas mask add-on makes case much more dangerous as the storyline is that the world was new so it'll make sense for caves to be much more dangerous than they used to be as they fill with radiation but you can counter this by wearing a gas mask which you can craft in the crafting table an add-on that may make you feel nostalgia is the ultimate jeep this add-on was used by many creators in the youtube space and it is because it is quite old yet still works perfectly you can now crash zombies and there's a dynamic light system now moving on to the world generation section of this video we have the radio craft add-on made by a good friend of mine which now adds a radiated land much similar to a wasteland and stepping on this land will ultimately lead to your demise in which you now need a hazmat suit and a gas mask which can be found from a corpse all crafted in the crafting table regardless you just need it to survive this land and with the project walker add-on this honestly looks so cinematic as it feels like you're the only human left in the world but that wouldn't be cool without structures so the post-apocalyptic structures adds in structures throughout the game which honestly pushes the limits of what minecraft bayrock can do 
and it adds fully fledged seed generation to Minecraft. And if we were to consider the Minecraft bedrock limitations, this is honestly quite impressive. It adds a mixture of buildings, torn down structures, vehicles that are abandoned and homes that are abandoned too. Personally my favorite structure was the prison. Let's add even more structures to the game. With the abandoned structures add on it expands on post apocalyptic structures by adding more abandoned homes which are honestly quite detailed with swimming pools, basketball courts and stuff that will make you feel like humans lived here. The reason why I would want to feel like humans live there is because it adds more immersion which is why the next section which is decoration adds more immersion with this decorative items that you can use in your builds and structures. And they honestly look cool and are limited by your creativity in building. They also fit the zombie apocalypse theme. To expand on those decorative objects we have hyper furniture which adds modern furniture to the game which is interactive like the stove which actually gives you food, cabinets that you can open open, chairs you can sit on, and also customizable chairs that you can change the color of. This is honestly impressive. I've paid attention to the feedback from previous videos so which is why the extras category will have MAPA map which is the map of a zombie apocalypse themed city which has honestly quite the best details I've seen in the map and it's a breath of fresh air from the zombie palace map that most creators use because this is honestly quite unique. For the last section in this video, it's the add-on sorting of course. So the blood texture should be all the way up in resource packs and all the way bottom should be the Willis US Army gear. Now moving on to behavior packs, make sure that the multiplayer waypoint system is at the very top and then on the very bottom should be the Hive furniture add-on. Well, that reaches the end of this video. If you've reached this far, I deeply appreciate and thank you. I have a lot of more videos coming soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that by subscribing down below. And if you've liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. And I'm working on an SMP called the Rotten SMP, which is coming very soon. So also stay tuned for that in the Discord server in the description. I really appreciate you watching this video. And with that said, have yourself a nice and great day.